I work for Westpac. Um, I've been there for seven, eight years now. Um, 20 years total, um, I've worked in, in IT industry and around most of that 15 years in the financial industry. Um, so yeah, currently working in as an IT security senior consultant and working in transformation, business transformation of, of you know, security uh, and that sort of thing. You know, I've heard so much about MBAs. I've seen um, senior managers at Westpac do MBAs and you know, saw their career progression. So let's give that a go. So I just, just signed up, I just did it. So I chose to, originally I was gonna just do a gen generic one, but then halfway through um, looking at select electives, I went, you know what, the, the entrepreneurship looked really good. Um, the, the subject, specialization subjects looked really good. Um, something that, you know, real life, lifelong sort of skills you need, you know, inside a business and also outside trying to start a business. Yeah, massively, I, I thought I would really struggle a lot more than I did. Um, you know, writing documents is pretty difficult. Um, you know, for me, just over email, um, you know, even when you send an email, you can read, I've made them spending mistakes or I've missed out complete words or sentences that I was meant to say. Um, and that's a lot of dyslexia plays into that. So there's a lot of fears of writing big 2,000, 3,000 word documents. There, there's a great tool, Grammarly, um, is one of the best tools I, I used, I found, and it just solved all my issues. Because it picks up, you know, Microsoft Word and then WordPress is never gonna pick up you know, the difference between there and there and there, you know. I know the difference, but my brain doesn't when I'm typing away. So that's great, it actually reads a sentence, goes, you know what, you used the wrong there. Um, or you put a comma here where you shouldn't. And that's, that really helped, and, and they leave the, the writing part. But, you know, people just actually, we have great skills. I've got great problem solving skills. Oh, that's my real strength, I'm great at problem solving. Um, so you'll see that, you know, you use your skills in different ways um, doing a, doing a, you know, MBA. Absolutely, um, and it's not really talked about. That, that's the problem, it's, you know, in the workplace, it's not seen, you know, you don't have a label on it. I, I don't, you know, I don't go announce I've got dyslexia, um, but, you know, obviously it's visible when I'm writing on a whiteboard um, or um, when I'm, you know, trying to type something, someone's looking over my shoulder. Obviously it's quite visible then, that obviously, you know, that I have difficulties constructing a sentence. Um, so it's, there is some stigma because people just generally don't, you know, and I had it in my career where people have made comments and laughed something because I've written something incorrectly on the board. I had a client once who even wrote to the, um, the manager of the, the boss of the company and said, you know, there's, what's going on with this document? There's, there's you know, there's mistake after mistake. Um, we don't want him on our account anymore. So you suffer a lot through that. Um, but as you can, just got to take it as a learning curve. Um, take it on and try not let it get, get you down. I think that's the thing. Um, try not let it be a, a barrier for you, a ceiling. Um, I think that's one of the best things you can do. You look at people like Richard Branson, absolutely amazing how, what he's done with his career, where he's gone and the things he's achieved, all with dyslexia. So there's, there's some really smart people out there with learning difficulties and, and they do really well, but they just never let that dyslexia defined who they are or let that be a ceiling for them. But if you can look past that and go, you know what, this isn't gonna stop me. This isn't gonna stop me doing an MBA. This isn't gonna stop me progressing up the career chain. Um, it, it's there for you to do, definitely. Again, applying them skills. And for myself, I've had two different roles since I started. Um, you know, one a more, definitely more senior role. Um, the first one, definitely more senior. Much more responsibility, much more working closely with the business. Um, and then, yeah, again, just recently now turning into the security side as well, you know, again, having that in the transformation space as well, having that, you know, understanding of transformation business. Yeah, amazing. I, I, it's been a long way to get to this point, well, a year and a half since I graduated, but yes, amazing. I can't wait for mum to see this back home when she, <laughs> over the stream today. So that's, that's for her back in England. So um, yeah, super proud, super happy.